Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your background as an artist? So, um, my name is Nancy B. Price. I am a collage artist, writer, and storyteller from Girard, Georgia. I'm currently based in Statesboro. And for the month of April, I was the On View artist in residence here at Sulphur Studios. Um, a lot of my work is inspired by my ancestry, by growing up in rural Georgia. Um, my experience as a black woman, as a black woman in the South who decided to stay in the South and not leave. And all of that work really does inform all of my art and my writing and storytelling. What inspired you mm -hmm. to start creating collage, collage art. art? What is collage art? Yeah. So collage is essentially taking desperate dis different pieces of paper or different objects and putting them together to make new things. So for me as an analog collage artist, I deal a lot with um, paper, found images, anything that um, already exists in its own space and then I create new spaces with it. And so what inspired me to create collage art in particular um, partially came from my fascination with paper dolls when I was really young. And then it was that fascination was reignited when I discovered the work, the collage art of Marilyn Jean Giles on Instagram, on, on Etsy, excuse me. And from there, I decided to just start cutting and pasting and start making my own work. And that was seven years ago. What has been some of the difficulties or some things that you had to go through? while doing collage mm -hmm. as an artist period. Yeah, um, I think for one, I think really just being able to call myself an artist was the biggest thing because for me, art in a traditional sense always looked like painting, drawing, maybe even like photography, um, water, uh, what's it called? Water painting, things like that. Um, but I didn't realize that collage in itself is an art form as well. And so first, understanding collage as, as its own art form was something that I had to learn, as well as being comfortable calling myself an artist, which is something that I didn't do for a long time, at least eight months after I started making my, after my very first piece. Explain. Mm -hmm some of the pieces that you have here. Mm -hmm. So the pieces behind me is a part of a five five piece mini series. I call it the, the Anger Pieces. Um, it was created in 2020 during the pandemic, during the shutdown and all the social unrest. And it was really my first foray into exploring ways in which my mental health have impacted me and thinking about how I can incorporate that into my art. So prior to that, I never really explored my mental health and my art before. And so with this collection, it was my first opportunity for me to really think about how my mental health, specifically anger, can be processed. And in doing that work, it really made me realize that I hadn't been processing my anger at all. And so it showed up in my art. And so in these pieces, it was really my first chance to really just like be in that anger and explore what makes me angry in a way that was more healthier than just bottling it up. Can you speak about um, the residency here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the On View Artists in Residency program here at Sulphur Studios is an opportunity um, for artists, both local artists and um, people who are national or international to come into Savannah and be residents here, both residents in the studio as well as just Savannah residents, and be a part of the community and work on a body of work or a project while they're here. So there's free studio space. I can come in at any time and just make the space my own and create without worry. And I also have an opportunity to have a community engagement project where I talk to members through Artists Can Do It with artist talks, with workshops, any sort of thing. And so for me, I did a workshop on identity and how you can engage that identity with your audience. And um, that workshop actually just wrapped up today. I've seen uh, an interview you were speaking about world building. What did mm -hmm. you mean by that? Yeah. So um, as, a, as a collage artist, as a creative in general, world building for me um, really gives me a chance to just like have a sense of control over things, but also explore how, that wor how those worlds can expand in ways that I may have never thought about. So as a writer, I do that. I do the world building exercises with, uh, with fiction and with journaling and everything. As a collage artist, I can cut those little bits and pieces of worlds out and then set scenes and and tell stories with the scenes that I create as a as an artist. So that's what I mean by world building. And how did you get to incorporate storytelling mm -hmm. into that? 
-hmm. Well, storytelling, I feel like, is the very first form of creativity that I was able to ex exhibit in my life. Um, just being at home around family members, listening to them tell stories, me telling them stories about things that happened in my life. And then I incorporated that storytelling into the writing that I do. And so with either it's in journaling, with writing descriptions for my work, um, with the uh, fiction and stories and like short stories and novels that I that I um, that I write all of that sort of just like you know feeds into this idea of taking my um, my onlooker or my audience on a journey and then when I incorporated collage into the mix it was a visual it became a visual representation of of the stories that I that I tell water signs is actually a project that's going to be a um, a collection of pieces that I developed and so that was the main reason that I was here um, at Sulphur Studios was to continue working have to have a devoted space to work on water signs and what, what exactly is yeah water signs? so water signs it's, it's sort of a twofold meaning so I'm a Scorpio and so I'm a water sign and so we're um, known to be very intuitive and emotional and so for me I was interested in creating a body of work that explored the emotional connections between um, black people and water and the story um, of water and its um, contributions to our um, to our story here in the um, in the diaspora and so whether it's with water baptism or the um, transatlantic slave trade or just something simple as like the family pond or swimming pools um, water has a special connection to to black stories and I think it'd be really cool to explore that connection with the emotional component. Okay, what role yeah. does Savannah play in your work on how it inspired you? Yeah. So, um, as someone who grew up an hour and a half from Savannah, it was it wasn't nothing to hop on the road and come down here to visit, to explore. I have family that live in here. We used to always go to the, to the beach and the river and everything like that. And as someone who grew up on the river, um, granted, further inland, um, I always knew that Savannah was like on the at the end of this like magical river that I used to um, visit when I was little so being in Savannah now as an artist and taking advantage of the art scene here and meeting all the incredible people um, it's been incredible it's been amazing for for my journey not only as an artist as a visual artist but just as a creative in general um, but one of the cool things I like about Savannah in relation to my water science project is just um, how it really exists at this intersection between the Savannah the river and the Atlantic Ocean and I know for a lot of people um, you know Savannah holds a special place as far as like their ancestry um, where a lot of people can trace their roots back to because especially as a black person Savannah um, is like the very first stop after you get, after you got off the boat, which is its own has its own really painful history. Um, but it was interesting to be able to exist in Savannah while working on this project because I was able to be in the space and in the community and be around people um, who call this place home. And for a long time, I've just sort of been an onlooker onto the the culture of savannah but now i get to sort of be here and think about the ways in which savannah exists um as a city as a as a cultural environment and it's just it's been incredible